What's going on? Jen McKinnon here, and I'm back with another Trends Roundup from Envato. Today, I'm talking about retro design trends, and all the links to the featured items can be found in the description below. Ready to step back in time? Let's go. First stop, the swinging 60s, where the counterculture movement brought us the Summer of Love, Woodstock Festival, the spiritual and recreational use of hallucinogenic drugs, and of course, go-go music, like this track by Pink Zebra, available to download on Envato Elements. Optical art, otherwise known as op art or retinal art, is a term coined in 1964 by Time magazine to describe a form of abstract design that creates illusions using positive and negative space. Sometimes generating a sense of movement, sometimes revealing different scenes depending on the viewer's focus, optical art plays upon the figure-ground relationship. Take this example by Nicola Giordani. Using only line work, she's been able to achieve a 3D rippling effect on the canvas for each letter of the alphabet. Also playing on perception, kaleidoscopic patterns have come back into focus this year, often associated with live music and festivals, but also in mainstream broadcasting, like this opener for the South Korean JTBC Awards. These designs are inspired by the symmetrical, colourful patterns kaleidoscopes create by reflecting light from angled mirror surfaces. To get the look for your own creative projects, you can use this vintage kaleidoscope motion graphics background by Handrox G. Or for some optical art, check out Hypnotic Tunnel Motion Background by the same author. The pop art movement emerged in the late 50s and well and truly seeped into the 1960s through advertising, comic books, and of course, high-end art, like these iconic pieces by the movement's leading figures, Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein. Emphasising the cliched elements of popular culture, often through the use of irony, pop art is still alive and well today, although usually without the tongue-in-cheek cynicism. Take this example from Kowloon Dairy, who have chosen the pop art style to add excitement and vibrancy to their brand and their pop-up stores. To create your own pop art inspired piece, try these pop art Photoshop actions by Creative Tacos with 20 different effects and single click application. Or to give your next presentation a hit of pop art pizzazz, check out Popsphere pop art PowerPoint template by Inipagi. Both are available on Envato Elements. The 60s are famous for bringing colour to the otherwise drab remnants of the 1950s, ditching muted pastels and earth tones for bright neons as a signal of rebellion as free love emerged and the flower power movement took off. And guess what? Loud bursts of colour are back in fashion this year, as seen in this White Rabbit branding that uses not only bright colours, but conventions of psychedelic design, like hand-drawn typography and vibrating colours, which we'll look at in more detail next. Colour bursts are also showcased in full 60s glory in this psychedelic 60s poster zine by Emma Mills. For your own projects, you can use this Abstract Circles background pack by 42 Theme that includes four retro colour schemes. Or these pop retro social media posts and stories by Dirty Line Studio. This item comes with 18 fully editable Photoshop files and download links to each of the fonts included. The late 60s brought about a whole new style of design, influenced by flower power and the hippie movement. Taking its name from the variety of mind-altering drugs that were widely experimented with in the 60s, the term psychedelic was first adapted to describe a musical style, but it soon emerged as its own design genre across famous album covers, like Jimi Hendrix's Axis Boulder's Love, Cream's Disraeli Gears, and many of the Beatles albums. 
Psychedelic design's connection to music is still strong today, as you can see in this example for the Hope Music Festival by Simon Corcoran. Psychedelic design is difficult to define, but some conventions to look out for are curvilinear shapes, hand-drawn and sometimes illegible typography, extreme colour vibration, and the injection of Art Nouveau-inspired centrepieces. Psychedelic design had a big impact on typography, which is a great place to start when creating your own psychedelic artwork. You can download this font, Lucidity by Ayari, from Invado Elements to give your piece an immediate sense of the 60s. Or to take Throwback Thursday to the next level on your socials, check out this groovy Instagram pack of pre-designed templates by the same author. The psychedelic era may have started in the 60s, but it definitely bled into the following decade. So you can also get the look with this 70s psychedelic music flyer by Muhammad Iqbal Hidayat. Next stop, the 70s. It was all about the bell bottoms or flares in fashion. Disco culture thrived and was immortalized in the iconic film Saturday Night Fever, and funk music emerged, like this 70s inspired track by Alan Gray, which you can download from Invado Elements. Many of the design trends of the 1960s continued into the 1970s, but here are a couple more to consider. In contrast with the psychedelic style, 1970s design also showcased simple, flat shapes, often arranged into recurring patterns and used as background art or in fabric design for fashion and home decor. Simple is back in vogue this year, and as you can see in this 70s inspired design called Don't Worry Be Hippie by Laura Normand, it's still being used to represent the decade in today's artwork. To include this trend in your own work, you can find yourself a design to download on Invado Elements, like this Retro Disco Lines Vector Backgrounds Pack by Themefire, which comes with a single concept in 10 different retro colour palettes, but can also be easily customised to suit your project perfectly in Adobe Illustrator. Or, if you're after something a little more dynamic, try colourful vertical retro waves backgrounds by the same author. But if you're after that Bauhaus-inspired 70s look, be sure to check out Retro Geometric Seamless Patterns. This design is super high res, perfect for projects of all sizes, from business cards to billboards. While the 60s brought some stylistic changes to typography, it wasn't really until the 70s when the letter set and the visual graphics phototypositor typesetting techniques emerged, providing greater freedom to designers, that freeform typography became used more widely. As a result, typography became more irregular and varied, from flowy freeform swashes with curly ends and rounded edges to bubble-like shapes and neon sign-inspired line work. This style that breaks the conventions of traditional typography is still popular today when seeking to replicate a retro pastiche, like in these pieces by Charlene Artsy. Or when creating distinctive branding, as seen in this e-liquid CBD oil packaging. To get a head start on typography for your next 70s inspired design, try Popstone Groovy Family Plus Variable by Creative Media Lab from Invado Elements. This funky font family has 10 weights and includes a variable format with various ligatures to play with. Or for something slightly tamer, check out Far Out by Thinkmake. And finally, we're off to the 80s, where it was all about big hair, bright nylon tracksuits, and music that was influenced in a big way by early digital technology, as you can hear in this 80s hip-hop-inspired track by 99 Instrumentals. 
The 1980s was signposted with a number of huge box office smash hits in the sci-fi genre, and it was reflected in design throughout the decade, with gradients, chunky cosmic text, and cyberpunk elements making their mark. We're seeing this sci-fi style re-emerge in the present day with a nostalgic nod to the decade 30 years prior, as seen in this AKQA illustration by Romaine below. To pack an 80s sci-fi punch, check out these 80s style text effects by Scofor, available on Envato Elements. With eight different compositions to choose from and free fonts to boot, you'll have reflective chrome text to rival the best of the 80s in no time. Neon is one of the most iconic styles of the 1980s, and it's back with a vengeance in 2020. Bright and often gaudy hues were used across the decade over film posters, album covers, and video games. We can see the neon trend this year lighting up big brands like Nike, in this video billboard, and BMW in their motorsport sim racing opener. To create your own 80s inspired neon opener, download Party Promo Neon FX by Mix Media 87 from Envato Elements. This 50 second After Effects composition allows you to easily drop your own images in and modify the text to produce an opener that's fit for purpose. Another iconic trend in the decade of shoulder pads, leg warmers, and the running man is the Memphis Milano style. Named after its creators, the Memphis Group in Milan, it's said to be the pinnacle of 80s style. Taking elements of art deco and pop art, the Memphis Milano style set out to transcend modernism. As you can see in this wallpaper design featured at Jughead's The Unrestaurant in Mumbai, bold geometric shapes, striking colour combinations, line work and asymmetry make up the conventions of this style. What's become known as a Memphis revival is in full swing and has been for the past few years. To get the look for your next video project, download this pop modern promo template by Vismov TV, a 4K After Effects template that combines a bold color palette with Memphis Milano elements and desaturated imagery. Or for graphic projects, check out Memphis Space Seamless Patterns by Vila a collection of seven seamless Memphis Milano-inspired patterns with transparent or preset background colours. Finally, the 80s brought us palm trees, sunsets, and neon pastels in a tropical trend that traversed film and television, fashion, album artwork, and even home decor. And 80s tropical styling is back in design this year. Here, Mexican design agency El Dorado has created this collection of illustrations called Jungle Seasons. And with a modern take on the 80s trend, Joao Marquez has created this promotional material for DJ and producer MAKJ. To create your very own Club Tropicana piece, check out this 1980s beach party logo design by Wings Art. Whether for t-shirts, posters, invites, or Instagram, this fully editable Illustrator file features vector elements, illustrations, and text paths, plus download links for all the featured fonts. Or take a look at this summer 80s party flyer by Goover for an A4 Photoshop file with all the 80s fixings. That does it for the retro trends we've seen return in 2020. Don't forget to like this video below so we know to keep producing more content like this, and subscribe to the Envato YouTube channel to keep up to date with the latest content. Have your say and tell us what trends you'd like us to profile next in the comments below, and hit the Envato blog for more trends and tips. But if you're keen to stick around here for a while, click the thumbnail on screen now to watch another one of our videos. Videos. See you next time.